I'm a fan of modern technology, but this might be a little bit too much. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we gotta talk about lab grown chicken getting the final green light from the USDA. So, me and all the question, hey ABL, what does that mean? Great question, glad you asked. What it means is that certain restaurants in the US of A may be able to serve you lab grown chicken, meaning it's real chicken, I suppose, made from real chicken cells, just not grown on the farm. They're going to produce it in the lab. Now, what do they have, like the little matrix pods? Are they going to put full uh, uh, garnish uh, 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 hens in the matrix pod? I have no idea how they're going to grow it, but they're going to grow it in the lab, and you are going to have the ability to be able to consume it first in restaurants. They're not going to sell it in the store just yet. Now, there's a lot to get to. There, there's a quite a bit to get to. Um, this article, I'm going to get to this in a minute. I'm going to skip to a video first. But I wanted you to see the headline and the subhead. Let me get into the video. Check it out. Cell culture chicken gets the final green light from USDA. Now, the subhead. Meat made from real animal cells, but with no slaughter, will debut in American restaurants. So, you know, a lot of your vegans and shout out to all the vegans, nothing against you guys, but a lot of vegans, they're ethical vegans saying, hey, these animals are getting slaughtered. It's inhumane. All this, that, and the third. Well, check it out. When I'm seeing all these crazy wild animals on these TikTok videos, completely demolishing the animals, it's not humane when they do that. But when I demolish um, a nice piece of fried chicken, I'm a monster. Anyway, I digress. Let's get into the video from Good Morning America. If you want to see this video and or read the article, links will be available in the description box. If you're on IG, check out our link in the bio. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. We are back with the new lab-grown chicken that was just approved for sale in the U.S. Could be headed to your dinner plate. Now, is that the chicken? Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. That does not look appetizing to me. Where is the fat? Where is the actual... Chicken, this does not look like the way it's supposed to, in my humble opinion. Devin Dwyer has the details. Good morning, Devin. Hey, good morning, George. Americans ate 75 billion pounds of red meat and chicken last year. But what if some of that meat was not raised on farms, but instead of high-tech facilities? Scientists say that could be good for the environment and your health, and soon it could be on menus and store shelves. This morning, the USDA has approved cell cultivated meat to be sold to the public for the first time. So that's where it all starts, just a few cells. Two cultivated meat producers now getting the green light to begin commercially selling their chicken, not raised on a farm, but in a facility. So this is just two companies that have the um, license or grant or whatever they need to go forward and put this lab grown meat out in the marketplace. The meat is grown using real animal cells and large bioreactors fed with nutrients. I recently got a tour. So uh, they, they, these are the matrix pods. <laughs> these are matrix pods. If, if, if that's not matrix pods, then I can't tell. And before you know it, they're going to put y'all in there. But anyway, I digress. Let's back up a little bit. Real animal cells and large bioreactors fed with nutrients. I recently got a tour of California-based Upside Foods, the nation's first and largest cultivated meat producer. You're making chicken in there. Yeah, so if you look at this, this is a approximately a 200 plus liter tank. And we take cells from a chicken or an egg. It takes two weeks to grow the equivalent of one chicken, a thousand chickens or a hundred thousand chickens. So you're saying in this factory, you can make more meat faster and cleaner than an average farmer. Well, ultimately, yes. The company says cell cultivated yeah, meat. Ultimately, huh? Now, what was it ultimately for? Was it ultimately for the faster or for the cleaner or for both? Okay. And how slow and or dirty is a process right now? That's crazy. But anyway, let's keep on going. Could help feed the world's booming population using a fraction of the land and water of animal farming and help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Many experts say more study is needed. So cows farting is a problem. So in order to reduce the cow farts, ladies and gentlemen, we need to go put the cows in matrix pods and make them that way, make them artificially. Okie dokie, I got it. Now, these uh, devices are not going to have any kind of problems. There won't be kind of any genetic, genetic irregularity. There'll be no problem, right? We're, we're trying to play God and grow things in these pods rather than just letting them happen naturally. 
So, and, and I got a question. Is this considered organic? This has to be the antithesis of organic. But I digress. I got to try this cell cultivated chicken at the facility in California, guys. I got to say the texture was a little bit different, but it did taste like chicken. The company says they hope to get it on restaurant menus in the next few weeks, then maybe on store shelves in the next five years. And dozens of startup companies are getting in on the game, guys. You mentioned the texture. So is it more like tofu? You know, George, it was pretty close to chicken, uh, but maybe a little bit rubberier. <laughs> rubberier. Uh, you have to give it a try for yourself. Uh, a restaurant in California is going to roll it out next month. Hmm. Would you guys try it? I think I would. I would. I do like the reduction in animal cruelty, but mm, uh, we'll no, see. No, 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 okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, rubbery didn't sell me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about becoming a vegetarian. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah, the rubbery didn't sell me either. And the whole animal cruelty thing. So is it okay to basically grow animal meat in a lab? Is that okay? Now, what if we grew human beings in the lab? Would that be okay? Would that be ethical? But we can grow animals in the lab, and that's not that's that's okay. That's ethical. It's it's totally weird. Um, here's an article. Uh, I think that might be the meat right there, but I don't know. It looks kind of it looks suspicious. What I saw on the video very it looked very suspicious. Okay, and of course it's going to be California, right? This is Emeryville, California, at the Upside Foods plant. So you are going to get your um, food from some big carbon emitting plant. It's so dumb. We, we want to stop cows from farting, which is normal. Animals release gas. Excuse me. Animals release gas. That's just normal. So rather than having the animals do that as they normally do, we're going to have a plant do it. And what kind of pollution will the plant create aside from your carbon emission from the smokestacks or whatever they got going on anyway? So the agricultural department on Wednesday gave the green light to three California based companies to begin, to begin producing and selling lab grown chicken in the United States, bringing the no slaughter protein a step closer to American dinner plates. So that's how they go and sell it. Uh, low carbon emission, low, no, uh, no slaughter. They're going to sell it that way. That's how they're going to sell the matrix pods. And then they might try to do that to just regular people as well. Okay. No, no, no more need for a surrogate. You could just grow your baby right here in the pie. It's all good. The USDA announced that it issued grants of inspection to Upside Foods, Good Meat, and Good Meat's manufacturing partner. Manufacturing, that's crazy. Join Biologics, um, Biologics the first companies aiming to bring the much-awaited product to the American market. I just want to see if I've seen anything different here. Um, alternatives to traditional animal agriculture are seen as a way to mitigate climate change, Although just how much it will improve upon traditional ranching is a matter of debate, in part because the impact of how such a fledgling industry scales up is hard to predict exactly. Now, you got a little small uh, plant that's servicing a couple of restaurants in California. What about when you scale it up to the size of the current agricultural market when you're talking about meat cultivation? How are we going to do that? And what about any kind of errors in a genetic coding or whatever the case may be? Yeah, I don't really see this going too well, in my humble opinion. Give me give me organic, like true organic on a farm, not these CAFOs. That's the, you know, the big, massive, um, kind of like factory farming. Don't give me that or this. Give me regular organic out on the farm, just normal food. Give me that. That's what I like, all right? But they may try to say this is going to be a better way to feed people, like I said in the video, it, we got we got food shortages all over the world. This would be a better way to go about it, all this and that. And then I want to add this piece to the equation as I close. What will they add to your meat? What are they going to take out? What are they going to, you know what I mean? I don't think I really trust this company to be trying to play God and insert certain things in the food. Um, I'll link to this article in the description, uh, oh, they, they, they sell it in Singapore. It's very, very interesting. But anyway, I'll link to the article in the description as well as the video. But as I close, I want to say this. I like organic food. I think I'll stick to it. The lab grown stuff, not so much. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about uh, these products? Uh, are they are they organic? Are they not organic? How do you feel about a lab-grown meat? Are you going to get you some? 
Are you going to go out there to California and go to the restaurant to try some of this, some of that rubbery tofu type, quote unquote, meat, whatever your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below. Um, how do you feel about meat in general? Are you vegetarian? Do you like organic? Does it not really matter? Are you going to KFC? You know, busting the, the chicken dinner down with the biscuit and no drink. Whatever your thoughts are on that, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I do enjoy chicken. Beef sometimes, but definitely chicken, fish for sure. I try to get good quality food whenever I can. When I cook, for sure. When I cook, I'm getting the best quality I can find. Trader Joe's Whole Foods. I know sometimes you get kind of uh, bamboozled. They'll say it's organic, but it's not really. I try my best. I try to get well-caught salmon. Um, try to get organic chicken thighs, stuff like that. That's kind of what I rock with and cook it thoroughly on a foreman grill. Uh, I'm not really frying too much. I try I try to eat well. Now, if I go to a restaurant, hey, man, I'm just kind of rolling the dice, whatever I get. But what I don't want to get on my plate when I roll them restaurant dice is some of this lab-grown chicken. It did not look very appetizing. Even when it cooked it, made it look all pretty. It was still kind of like smearing lipstick on the pig, in my humble opinion. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.